Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show. Let's just get right into it. So we've been working with the Spartan Regimen, Nectar for the Gods, and we had Scott here yesterday talking about how important pH was to uh, the whole line and how you had to hear your pH just right or it wasn't going to work too well and that you probably needed a pH meter, but if you were just getting started, just getting going on a budget, you could probably get by with some pH strips. But there's a couple of wrinkles to the whole thing, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little demonstration. We're going to get this stuff out of here and we're going to show you how to do it. So I got a couple gallons of water here and we're going to use the, uh, the Spartan Regimen and our pH strips. So Spartan Regimen is going to be some Medusa's Magic, some Diamania, some Herculean Harvest, and some Zeus Juice. And I said there's a couple of wrinkles, there's really only one wrinkle. And it's this, the Zeus Juice. It's a, it's a humic acid. And uh, let me pour some here in the thing here. I'll show you something about it. It's, a, it's some dark stuff and it's also very uh, stainy to the strips. So, if you put the strips here, let me show you how the strips work. So when you're doing the strips here, you put it into the solution and then you look to see what color the strip turns. See, it's this uh, nice uh, uh, yellow color here. See, and then when you put it in, it's going to change to one of these colors. Five fives down here, kind of yellow, and 8.0 here is uh, pretty much black. But the problem is, you put this in here, regardless of the pH, it's going to be black because this stuff stains it. So what you do is you wait to put this in until you've done your testing. So let me show you. So we got a couple gallons of water here, and we're gonna put in about 20 milliliters of Medusa's uh, Magic here. We're gonna mix that up. Get a good mix there. Turn that off a little bit. Let's do our Gaia Mania. About 20 of that. All right. And then mix that up. Oh, geez, that's not good. I'll have to clean that up later. I'm going to put our Herculean Harvest in there. We're going to do quite a bit of this. Let's do about, oh, 25, 30 milliliters of that. Put that in, okay? So now we got that. We're going to mix it up real good. And we're going to give it a little test with our uh, pH strip. That might be a little too much there. Let's put that in there. See what we get. Okay, what do we got there? Eh, looks like we got about 5.8. Okay, so we're gonna need some Olympus Up. Let's get some Olympus Up in here. Now, what I'm gonna do with the Olympus Up is I'm gonna measure out some Olympus Up here. I'm gonna put this in here because what we wanna do is we wanna measure this up so that next time we do this, we don't have to go through this whole measurement thing. We can just uh, do it pretty much uh, by rote and then go through and just test it at the end. So let's see, we got 25, let's go, let's get 25 milliliters of Olympus up in here. And then we're going to put in 5 milliliters. That might be a little too much. Let's hope it's okay. I'm going to mix that up. I'm going to give it a good mix here. All right. We're going to test it again. Let's look at that. Okay, there we go. We're right about 6.2, 6.4, somewhere in there. So you know what we'll do? We'll probably give it just a little tiny bit more. And then do that, like 2 milliliters. Next time we're going to know that it's about 7 milliliters for our 2 gallons of Olympus Up to make our batch. So now that we've got that all correct, now we're just going to put in a little bit of the Zeus juice to finish out our mixture. Now this is going to raise the pH, but we're only putting in a tiny bit there and mixing that in, so it shouldn't change it that much. And so that is how you do that if you're using the pH strips. And a couple of caveats here, a couple little things. So if you do get like too high with your pH number, you accidentally go too high, you can uh, bring that down a little bit by probably putting in a little bit of Herculean Harvest. But you don't want to do much more than like uh, 10, 20 milliliters like that for a batch like this. You don't want to put a lot in. If you get too high there, you're probably going to have to either use some of this Hades down, which I'll bring it back down again, or just throw it out and start over and learn your lesson. So that's that. So if you're not quite ready to get yourself a pH pen, that's how you do that. That should get you by for a bit. So I hope that works out for you. And then tomorrow, hold on a second here. Let's get these guys watered up. There we go. This is our side-by-side -side we're doing here. I'll talk to you about that next week. 
But tomorrow we're going to be talking about pH pens. Which one to use? Maybe this one. There's some other ones. We're going to go through a couple. How to use them, which one to get, how to take care of them, and that sort of thing. So that'll be fun. And uh, that's the show for today. I hope you had fun. I love you. And I'll see you tomorrow. For more information about anything on today's show, go to our website, ocgfam.com. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.